We got Patrice O'Neill in studio. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. And he's a good one to follow on Twitter. I'm telling you right now. PatriceO'Neill.com, my friend. Oh, you got, oh, you got it. that up and running again. Finally got that up and running. Nice. That's what you need. Your own name, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Patrice, I, <laughs> I, Patrice, I actually got something for you today. You better have that bottle of Louis uh, the Thirteenth, man. Oh shit. Patrice wow. O'Neal. That's you. Motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. Louis Trey. Let me tell you That's something. That's my friend Opie Greg Hughes, Let motherfucker. Me <laughs> Let me tell you something about this. I've had this for, uh, I don't know, 11, 12 years. I, yeah. I have not, I, I don't know what I wanted to do with this for so long. And it's got one of these, too. Yeah, I got one in my bar. It's just sitting and, uh, up there on the shelf all nice with a light behind this it. It's fucking fantastic. It sparkles. It's like magical. And what is this? Like, it's, like it's con cognac, right? It's Louis yeah. XIII cognac. Look at that. With a little, 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 uh, yeah. when you do open it up with a little fucking, uh, oh, Chris Crystal top Wow. On there. Savorsky's it, crystal top. It comes look at in the, a fucking uh, look nice at the, What's your top Look at the dude? presentation. Look at the presentation. The crystal. Don't let the crystal fall. It's got a little book. Oh, it has a fucking thousand thread count sheet in there. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> a thousand thread count sheet. <laughs> it comes with a little booklet. That explains oh, yeah. Louis the third. Oh, I'm fucking very happy, man. I'm very. This is a, very nice of you. And it's never I been opened. I so wish I was still that same person. I Dude, I just. God damn. I so wish. Oh. I just thought about I that. I so wish. I don't. I don't smell it, but I did think about it. I was yeah, thinking yeah. it. That's a hard smash, though, right this there. Is, That's oh, a goddamn. Fuck. We talked about the sledgehammer. We talked yeah. about this uh, last time you were here, and I didn't forget. And I'll be serious for a moment. I mean, everything you've done for our fucking radio shows is the least I could do. That's fucking and I've been trying beautiful. To, I've been trying to figure out what to do with this bottle for the longest time. And I, I, I hand this over to you, Patrice. That this is all um, I ask is you uh, invite me over so I can have a shot. Because I don't even know if I would doing, enjoy. What are you doing? What are you doing this gotta, Thanksgiving? Uh, I'll be around. I mean, I'm doing my family thing. But if you got something like outside that Thursday, I'll do something. When's the next uh, holiday that can have something happening? You can't. What, you just have strangers over? Not strangers, but friends over for Thanksgiving? Isn't no, that kind I have, of a family thing? No, I have friends, and I all because of comics, I have comics that don't have family to go to. That lonely oh, comics. so you... Oh, maybe we could stop by later in the day or so. Here, hand I, that over to Patrice. I that's, open my doors to the, to the that's unfortunate. It. The box is a little fucked up because it's moved that's, a few times. That's fine, man. But the box inside is not fucked up. That's fine. This is fantastic. Yeah, that is a... Uh, this is some of this going to be poured on top of bitches' heads. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is threesome. This is a threesome drink. <laughs> threesome drink, right? She's there. listening, bitch. Vaughn, this is threesomes That's happening why it's here. Louis Trey. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. you, and you know what you do? Yeah. I mean, that that thing isn't open yet, but when you do open it, then you could fill it up with some cheap shit, and, and no one will ever know. <laughs> I need a Marshall's bag because <laughs> yeah, right. I get robbed from here. You're to gonna so get robbed if you just carry Dude, that around that, with you. Supposedly, the empty crystal bottle goes for five, six hundred dollars. Oh, this supposedly. Crazy. Crazy. And it, if you look it up, I mean, that uh, it used to go for well over a thousand. That That's bottle, good shit, well over a thousand. Thank you, man. Least I could do. Very yeah. nice of you. Thank you. Of course, I have that to do it nice. on the air to look like a good guy. I could have, I could have done it off air you, secretly, you but could've. I had to make a big fucking presentation out of it. But you just, you know, <laughs> and it gives a couple of motherfuckers something to do. Yeah, you know, some people are happy. Some people are saying you fucking a bonding thing there, right there, nigger. <laughs> Give me that nigga Louis the Thirteenth. He doesn't even know what it is. What is Louis the Thirteenth going for these days? Full or empty? No. Well, what do you mean empty? Well, the full full bottles. It looks like they're going for about fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. It's about the going rate. Yeah, that's what you got. Right are you there, sure? Patrice? Are you sure this? The, I think check it goes the one with more. the thousand thread count sheet. I might have. A, it might be a. No, I but think geez, it goes for more. I, uh, liquor store people have offered me a thousand for it on the spot when I talked about it. Said, look, you bring it in, to, you know, today. I will give you a thousand dollars cash, that's so they know crazy. they can make money. That's uh, the one right there, it. right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So what is that going for? That one's going for. You could buy it now for seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. See. And what does the empty bottle go for? It's ranging. It's, is it five hundred? Little... Like people have told me nah, over the years, well, or is it seem, less? It doesn't seem to be that much, but it, it's it is it does seem to be ranging. Anywhere from like a hundred to two hundred. Oh, okay. Or, I heard. I or heard ten ninety nine right there. Mm. Or a 10.99 right Plus there. It's starting bid, so oh, I, oh, still got, oh, this still is got five days. 
But Patrice, <laughs> that's a nice thing you did, man. I, I appreciate. But you got you pour some cheap shit right back in that bottle. No one's gonna know the difference. Uh, I'm telling you, you got a Louis the Thirteenth for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, so that's, that's, that's <laughs> think that about it. I like that because no one knows what cognac's supposed to taste like. Someone would. Would you know, Danny? Yeah, I think so. You get caught doing that. But how are you gonna get punch caught? You in the face. It's like, dude, what are you doing? You're trying to fucking get out when, of here. When you're sipping Arizona iced tea out of a snifter, you tend to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you break it out later in the party when people are nice and buzzed. Uh, and you can't get real shit. You got to, like, get kind of good stuff. Yeah, I know. You can't go too cheap, and you know what I mean? Get a fucking $10 bottle of cognac and pour it in. <laughs> So whatever. I need, I need uh, strategy. I I'm going to have to work out a strategy now to have yeah. this. Let me know what happens. Yeah, that's like that. a weapon. Yeah, this is a strategy, man. You got like a superpower. Yeah, I felt like I could never open it up because I felt like I needed something really special happening. I, I was saving it for when I bought a house. And then I bought a house and I didn't open the it. The kid wasn't special enough to crack it open? or Well, t with who, though? Like, it's drinking. cognac. Who drinks cognac? That's true. I might drink it. I'm gonna drink it out of my girl's asshole. I'm gonna, just, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> I'm gonna invent something. You might have started a drunk. I might just have to taste it. Patrice, they want me to tweet a picture. What, do you want to be in it? Of my Louis the <laughs> Hell no! These niggas I live near. <laughs> they, they, don't, they might not listen to this radio, but they look at Twitter and shit. These motherfuckers see me with. <laughs> They already debating whether to kick my door in and fucking rape me while I'm asleep. That's why I hate it raining. Is that my door getting kicked in? I swear to God, man, I gotta buy one of them things from you, man. Yeah, File that yeah. number off or something. You gotta help me out. File that number off. The number is everywhere. Now, I got a isn't bunch it? of box cutters around me. Nigga. You can't. You can't go old school with that shit, right? The numbers are everywhere. Numbers very hard to file them off. It's they very use like, hard. They use an acid. You know, it it penetrates the steel. And uh, you can pull those numbers through. And it penetrates the steel real deep, even if, if it's filed so down. So all that bullshit, like an unmarked gun thing. Yeah, is, a lot of shit. Yeah. There's ways to do it, but it's so fucking illegal. There are guys that, like, uh, you damage the rifling inside the barrel so that uh, the bullet, when ballistics gets a hold of it, they can't match it up to uh, the barrel of the gun. And so there's nothing you can do? No, I'm fucking snow. nothing you want. Hey, I'm fucking naked. Find alternative here. weapons. Patrice, does this make us like true friends where I can now use, you know, the N-word? You was using it before. No, <laughs> not to your What face. is this floating inside of here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> Nigga, there's flies so, in this it's shit. It's the worm. <laughs> I eat the worm. Oh, okay, all right. Just, what are they, bubbles? It's close. And, it's, and, it's you, wait, and here, I'm, I'm just looking at it. Oh, I got <laughs> You can see all the times he thought about it. And oh, didn't. Fingerprints? A bunch of dirty... F I thought about it. Fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted... He wanted <laughs> I want the ahead, dirty finger. Yeah, wait, just get my just get my fingers. All right, tilt it over. Those big ass... Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, get the chain, <laughs> tail. You look badass. All right. Uh, not your face? You want your oh, face? I don't give a fuck. Whatever. All right, well, there we go. That's Maybe a I'll make a face. Don't try to rob me, face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make of course you turn. Of course you turn. is making a great don't try oh, to rob me, go, face. That's such a good fucking <laughs> don't try to rob me, face. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's classic. You're right about that. I've, I've pulled that bottle out many times. There's some fucking oh, you fingerprints can see, on you that. You can see right where he's thought about it. <laughs> you might, wait, wait a minute, though. So uh, what's some of the... You might me, have, can you give me two or three you might have almost to drinking stories? Like you was like, it's it's going to happen? Here it comes. Not to the, not honestly, to the kitty? Honestly, no, because I just don't like that. I just don't like cognac. I had no reason to, it's good for to open it sit. up. I haven't opened mine up either, I wanted but. to drink. I mean, I wanted to drink it with my dad. Have a shot with my dad. Well, that, that would be very happening. inconvenient right now. Well, not if you have a shovel. Yeah, mine too. Well, I'd have to mix it with. Happen. That I'd was... have to mix it with his ashes. Yeah, I think that's why. Because I, I, I think I was gonna open it up when I got a house and do it with my dad. But you know, whatever. Mm. How long you had it? I told you, like twelve years. That's been sitting around. That's been in four or five us, different places. Who gave us that shit? One of the comedy clubs. Yeah, I think it was Rascals. Wow, it's fucking fantastic. Who was it? I don't know. I Wait a minute. It so it's even power. older. Twelve year old. Oh yeah, yeah. So it, it has this to was, be more. It's got to be more than just if you went out and bought it now. It's and it has the must have the paperwork older. when it came out. Like, Dude, I haven't totally in there. All that shit's in there. I haven't touched anything. The oh, case, everything. I'll, I'll tweet the picture for people. They'll know. <laughs> I'm just laughing at. <laughs> I'm laughing at the people out there going, 
I, they don't. What somebody would do with some Louis XIII that's they, sitting there like, oh, come on. And I'm just sitting there, hmm. hmm. Uh, as I'm fighting pit bulls hmm, three with soon. my strippers and cocaine party. I could fucking. And he's gonna pour. Wait a minute. And he's gonna pour some out for the homies who ain't here. Homies, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> You crazy man! <laughs> Three hundred dollar fucking shot for your homies. What, what is it? I'm tweeting this. So what is it? Uh, the Louis X one one one? Is that what we do? Ah yeah. I I I whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's them Roman numerals. Shit. Roman numerals. I handed over my Louis Louis uh, tray to uh, Big Mama Prod. See, then you get a little fucking uh, Twitter love on top of it. Sure. Look at this. Uh, I handed over my Louis thirteenth to Big Mama Prod. All right. There you go. I, I, I tweeted it. Man. You live in a almost bad neighborhood too, so I live in a very like borderline bad, border, borderline Do trick you really? me when they sh yeah when they showed me the <laughs> when they showed me like they have a they had a thing of the future of what the neighborhood was gonna look like. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, it was all white people and fucking mm -hmm. over the head trains was and jets and cars, <laughs> <laughs> smiling like a, white people like and it's just <laughs> Disney Epcot exhibit. <laughs> There's a cat that bought a um. This kid got a uh, a one of those four door Porsches. Yeah, those those new sedan Porsches, like you know, that just look. And everybody oh, yeah, where I live is like SUVs. The most, you know, maybe a nice, uh, maybe a four hundred Mercedes, not mm -hmm. a six. Right, right. You know, it's it's some working class people with some decent stuff. But he comes out with the goddamn Porsche, four door Porsche. I had to tell him, like, you know, not tell him, but I'm like, look, man, hey. I think you should put that in the garage because ah. it's already. The traffic from the oh, his his oh, oh, the, the the foot traffic oh, from the hood has changed because of his car. Oh, the foot no. traffic, oh. the foot traffic from the hood to the <laughs> shitty strip hood mall. Yeah, is past is past where I live. Like it's oh, it, it, man. and it's a truck stop next door to it. So it's just this oasis that's of what should have been white bad. people all over the place. That's hilarious. Oh, that's bad. And no one's buying, that's so hilarious. it's just a bunch of white people upset that they can't leave this motherfucker. It's the saddest community. <laughs> it's the saddest community ever built. <laughs> they trick motherfuckers so bad. Faked out. I can't even refinance. Really? What? I can't refinance because the shit is worth... It's it. I'll, it'll cost me money to refinance. Well, I thought you were in kind of a good neighborhood. D they they tricked everybody. They tricked. They it was supposed to be the tricked. up and coming neighborhood. It was supposed to be. One I of remember. These, yep. And it was like, oh man, happen. they're gonna buy up all this. They put up all these oh. new bus routes, a train over there, a fucking yeah. limo service. A and house next door to everybody was sold. It's just a place. <laughs> one guy paints his front door every day, cause oh, no. he's on the. I'm. I'm off of the walkway. Right. He's on it. Like, he's on the walk, and every day there's a gang oh. sign painted on his door. Oh, shit. No kidding. He has to keep MS-13. He, he, he just has a fucking... He has, to, oh. he has to spray his... Paint his door. You can see where it's just layers and layers of paint. Um, Fuck. Uh, hot sauce. One day I saw hot sauce on his door. Hot sauce packs. Oh, what shit. What does that mean? It's just... You know what it is? It's you walk by... And it's and it's a sort of sort of a people with money. Yeah. You know, I drive a I drive a, a, a SUV. Yeah. A, a 2007. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And everything is just like that in the range of whether it's a car or you know hybrids. People just it, you yeah. know working class people. Yeah. And but to that it's just like because I know I grew up poor. First thing we did when somebody had some money was uh. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't call it jealousy. We just said, "Hey, those windows look delicious." <laughs> Man, those windows look r very rockable. Delicious. <laughs> oh, Man, shit. how many paint? Seven. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> run. <laughs> now they don't run. No, they killers. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. So you, oh, <laughs> damn. You couldn't even refinance. I can't even refinance. I refinanced my ass off to about a month ago. What 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 percentage did you go from to Four, down? Uh, six um six something six. What was it? Six. Uh, I had a bad one at first. Six point seven to like a four something. Oh my god. Mid fours. How much you save? There. My mortgage payment was cut in half. 
You cut your fucking mortgage in half? In half. I am telling you, in but half. But you've been they there how I'm, long? They said I'm one of the lucky guys, and then I went through our guy Barry and said, and, and Barry's like, yep, you're just you're just lucked out. I don't even you wanna, cut I don't, your I don't fucking even, payment in half? I don't even want to no, talk about sense. it on the air, because people hate me enough already. You cut, I cut in half. fucking... I swear to God, almost exactly in half. I have a... I have and a they gave fucking me, two. I had to take two yeah. for whatever reason. And ready for this? When I left, they go, and uh, uh, you'll be getting a check in uh, a couple days. I got $300. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you made money? To, he I made, made money? I don't get it. I made money well, to cut my mortgage in half. I'm telling well, you. Well, in that area, from I don't want to give you too, the numbers, but I'm telling you, it was cut in they half. They cut off an exit right there. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. fucking powerful Donald Trump is. It's like, that exit's gone. We won't be bothering you people over that area. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Cut off. Yeah. yeah, I thought they was gonna. They was redoing it. They said this is gone, closed. motherfucker. Right. They closed. You have the to exit. go up ten more blocks and yeah, then yeah. come back and to be up back. in there. Yep. And that. They, they, yeah. Yep. I'm fuck. My heart hurts. Because <laughs> I got two. It made me. Yeah. But I have. I have a six, seven, oh. and a and I had to take another one. Vinny knows this shit. Vinny is amazing with this shit. He mm -hmm. helped me. He helped me a lot with this house, but. There's another one I have that's fucked up that I got to pay off in 15 years, um, hook or crook, and oh. it's an eight. Oh, you fuck got eight? something. 8.75 or something. That's like a Loans R Us place. Dude, it's, uh, and wow. they're not going to gobble it all up. They're not, they, I, I mentioned to the guy who was actually trying to get me to do it, and my credit's not bad, but that motherfucker said, we can't gobble this one up. I was trying to get mine refinanced and they would like well you gotta i gotta pump like a fuckload of money into it to get it down to a certain amount where it makes sense yeah i was knocking down my uh my mortgage i was i, I was yeah, paying a lot of principal so I'm, you don't I'm, you, I'm, you I'm, oh I'm you doing. was paying uh, how many years did you live there i'm up to three and i knocked it down a, a nice chunk and also uh, this is really gonna piss off a lot of people because uh, of the housing market <clears> is shit <throat> my appraisal my place went up well, your, your property went up. A lot. Manhattan. Well, that area is a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 I yeah, bought yeah. in an area where it's up and coming. They're building <clears throat> and building. They're building and all building. that whole area. So I, I told mm -hmm. my girl, I, we want to we wanna move. I want something like that. I want to be in the suburbs with a nice spread. So but we'd be but we're, we would be stupid to move anytime soon because this place is going to just keep going up. And I noticed, and it's sneaky, too, how they did it, how they built that area. But it's built from, it's built from 42nd up to maybe... A uh, hundred or something. Yeah. Because yeah. I pulled over to take a piss on the side of the the, the little <laughs> thing off of the Henry Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they created on on that side a just a new white world. Like it's like <laughs> yeah. it's white yeah it's it just some just, dumb some. It used to be just swamps and shit and and a bad area and yeah, how they figure that out. And Trump moved Bikes in and, and th it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. now bike paths and everything. Mm -hmm. I used to piss on the side of the road, and it's just nothing. Like, it was somewhere you needed side to piss. You would yeah. see crack pipes and needles and shit. I turned around, it's a family. I'm like, <laughs> it's a family Damn staring like, at me. Like, you, they're having a white this picnic. This asshole pissing on the side. I said, I said, this is the piss spot. Like, <laughs> I've been pissing here for years, yeah. you fuck. You just, when I drive from fucking Boston, this is my piss spot right just, here. You just interrupted their white picnic. <laughs> yes. The whole white family with the baby in the back. Just staring. Like, uh, <laughs> and you know white people... <laughs> When they, white people who do white things, like, you know, they do the, the jogging, and the, they're not afraid of anybody. Yeah. Like, they don't, they don't mind it. They're not minding your business people. They're like, wait a minute. I know you're not pissing. Like, the whole family staring at me going, I know you're not pissing right here. I'm like, this used to be my piss spot. This is the piss spot. I'm sorry, it's a park now, motherfucker. <laughs> no, what's up? Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no kids go here, you uh, bastard. Brian wants in real fast. Brian in South Carolina. Brian. Oh, did you say you got a check back for $300, too? Yeah, I cut my uh, mortgage payment in half, and they gave me $300. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be white, ain't it? It sure is, sir. It sure is. <laughs> and Patrice is working off a, and Patrice is working off a fucking 8% loan. Holy, Holy fuck, man. I thought I got fucked with a 6-7, man. Oh, and you're working on an 8. This guy, I didn't you're want to say it's racist, eight. but goddamn. I drove... I had to take uh, the long way out of Manhattan yesterday because they had the Columbus Day Parade. And, man, as soon as you get uptown, you see Loans Are Us places. They're called Loans Are Us. They make it all friendly. 
nice oh, yeah. to walk in and get a nice loan for yourself. imagine how much the interest is at Loans and, R Us. And you also know you're in a ghetto when there's a fast food restaurant that's uh, two stories. <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? In the white world, our fast food restaurants are one All level. ground level. But well, in the no, ghetto, um... it's two levels. What's that about? <laughs> I always see it in the ghettos. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that that's just true. It is true. <laughs> Wait a minute! Some it's McDonald's are fucking. I've never. Decker. I'm telling you right now, I've never seen a a, a, a two story fast food restaurant oh. unless I'm driving through the ghetto. Like, we, unlike we, Anthony, sometimes it'd be packed. It's unlike packed. Anthony, I get around. I like to see what's going on out there. And I took the yeah. long way out of Manhattan. and I'm like, wow, there were uh, Dunkin' Donuts two stories. There were McDonald's two stories. What else did I see? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe it's the spin. <laughs> I don't know how I want to it's make it. It's true, excuse. right? I don't know why it is. <laughs> why is that? I don't know why. <laughs> Two floors. Oh my god. Why is that? I don't know. I didn't I never noticed true. that shit. It is true. And bulletproof glass. And we know that what that's for. <laughs> bulletproof glass. Well, I didn't go into these places. I'm not that crazy. They got I'll drive through some areas, but I'm not gonna stop. I don't know why white people don't now explore I would the hood more because th nobody's going to do anything to you. That's just an easy thing to say. I would, yeah, I it's would just stop no one's going to do anything During the to day, you. I would. At night, honestly, I wouldn't stop and get out. No. They I'm wouldn't do anything afraid. to you. you I know, understand. You'd be a cop or if, if, even if he wasn't a cop, if something happened to you, it's just not worth doing anything to you. <laughs> really? <laughs> if, if, if something happened to Opie up in the hood somewhere at night, do you understand? Yeah. Blonde white dude is up in the hood, and it, for Don't whatever the blue reason, eyes, Patrice. Bl yeah, problems. Yeah, the blue dude. eyes. Yeah, it's not. You're no one needs that. You'd be looked at a little suspect. Yeah, like, you need a little color in you, and then you're, then you're in danger. You, just you know how many bit. cops would be up in the fucking hood, like oh just God. burning it down, just fucking <laughs> racking heads and locking people up, trying to figure out what the fuck <laughs> An happened? Excuse to crack some skulls. Yeah. I was in Boston with Charles Charles Stewart, man. When he yeah. just said, hey, black guy killed my wife. Yeah, yeah. I got pulled. Everybody was up against the entire Roxbury was up against the wall. Unbelievable when that guy and said that. was that. the Preachers one... and everybody up against yeah, the wall. That was the one where shit. she was stabbed and thrown off the bridge, right? No, he shot her in a, his pregnant wife, Charles Stewart. He shot but, her in the head. And, and then he shot himself. And shot himself. But didn't one of them go off the bridge or he something? Jumped. He jumped. Oh, yeah. he jumped. Because okay. they found him out. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, after the fact. And then they had yeah. a guy. Okay. That they had arrested for that, that mm -hmm. they was gonna just say you did it. He did it. But he now, and then they found out Charles Stewart did it. But then he was gonna complain, but he was a he was a he was a felon. Yeah. And they said, look, you got some other stuff, so you're not gonna sue, are you? And he's so like, just oh, nah. He's just, move along. Move along. We'll turn our head. <laughs> you just move along. We made a bad <laughs> mistake, and <laughs> you just keep oh, going, oh, my friend. Shit. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting called out. There's a three story uh, McDonald's right there in Times Square. Times Square is its Times own. Square is That's good. a just. Right, they, and there's one. That's not there's normal neighborhood there, shit. That's yeah. funny though. Oh, that makes me laugh. God, yeah. Why is there a three-story fast food restaurant? <laughs> but there's a lot. I'm, I'm sure there's one or two here and there. But in the ghetto, I don't. I don't understand. Someone's got to explain that. People enjoy. Someone burgers. in real estate's got to explain mm -hmm. that. And and they like hanging out at, on top of the. You know, that's not just where you eat. Mm -hmm. They feel like that's where you have your meetings. You, they feel like you're living large. Yeah, you look overlooking out the, window. the street. There's one guy that sits in the corner. He has everybody else has filet of fish. He just has French fries and he's just <laughs> surrounded. <laughs> and if you go to sit next to him, ten motherfuckers stand up with their hands in their pockets. <laughs> oh, Where the fuck you going, nigga? You think this M stands for this M stands for Malik, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 this is his motherfucking joy. Yes. <laughs> it stands for Malik's oh. motherfucking McDonald's. All right. All right, now we got. Oh man, we got Chad in uh, Baltimore. Chad, is this uh, true or what? Uh, come on, man. You know, you guys used to broadcast out of Northern Virginia, man. Northern Virginia, PG County, you know, Anne Arundel County. Not a single motherfucking double story McDonald's. You drive in New York Avenue into fucking DC, double story McDonald's. And is that the ghetto? I don't even know. Hmm. I don't on the right hand side going to New York Avenue, right to Florida Avenue. But country ghetto is a whole other thing from city ghetto. Yeah, though, man. that is true. Well, that, Baltimore difference? is because country ghetto is it's it's easy going. Like even like the one thing I noticed about yeah, I just I just got back from North Carolina. Where you go um outside of uh the the tri state area in New England, um black people are really, really, really friendly. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Like like and it's not, I think, two-story McDonald's is to keep the fact that if you're in the hood, mm -hmm. and this is a, it might be a smart move, this might be it, you go upstairs, you have an upstairs so it's not, you don't scare 
people from not coming oh, into your place. So you say go on upstairs and fucking throw like garbage around. Gang and, activity at the registers. <laughs> And threaten the Indian guy that's just wiping the tables up. <laughs> <laughs> and and you eat upstairs so that people can come in and not feel like they they're scared to come in. In a you know crowd what I mean? that's yeah. gonna burst in a gunfire. But down moment. south is so it's a it's a it, they don't even have the bulletproof glass on the Kentucky Fried Chicken where no. I live. Kentucky Fried Chicken is sh it's it's like a shut bank. down, man. It's Try to rob Kentucky Fried fucking chicken. It's like <laughs> it's like lock, stock, and smoking barrels with the bitch with a gun and push a button and the cage go up. <clears throat> that's that's how it is. That's that's the Kentucky Fried Chicken, man. You can't. It's bulletproof glass. Like the oh the girl's face God. through the glass is warped because the glass is so thick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like to make a withdrawal of a bucket of chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I got one right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, your cat only has a wing and a leg in it. Alright, just give me that shit, motherfucker. You're fucking bang. You're overdrawn yeah. some shrimp pops. Some popcorn shrimp. I like, I like how Patrice said her face is distorted. It's the glass is, the glass is so thick. The funhouse <laughs> giant funhouse bulletproof You don't glass. even know if she's looking good looking at, or not. It's like You're looking like, at Shamu <laughs> through the SeaWorld window. <laughs> and the and the fucking instead of the ma magic marker, it's the scratch key uh, yeah, yeah. gang sign. So right. it's like you just a motherfucker just scratched it. It's you can't scratch -y -y. <laughs> they Call it scratch -y -y. Oh, is that good, man? Holy fuck, man! <laughs> Bulletproof glass. Oh, well, black people got to defend everything. That's just just funny. And then what? They got that lazy Susan whirly twirly the thing, thing where they your, put the chicken in and you turn it around there and spin the it. lazy Susan. So you can't. Put the gun in. Yeah. If you put the gun in, yeah. the black girl just presses the. It's like the post office when you gotta mail like a really large package. You gotta yeah, yeah. the one window has to go down and lock before the other. Right one can before come the other, it's an airlock. Yeah. <laughs> Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Is that is it insulting to live that way? No. Well, no. That's what it is? It's, it, it's no. It's it, it's in, you like, know what? This look, is a wait. world I don't know anything about. It's not insulting to. It's insulting that you have to live that way. It's not insulting that you, because it, it, the motherfuckers will go in there and rob you every night. And they don't have nothing but teenage girls working in these places till yeah, midnight. Yeah, yeah. That so is the crazy. Poor, the, the poor girls, when they leave, and there's signs everywhere. Vulnerable. Um, n no money on premises. Somebody takes the money or whatever. It's like we don't know where <laughs> it went. Even in the supermarket, they have these things that suck the money up now. Like Jesus every, Christ. like almost after every transaction, they put it in a little thing and it sucks it's money like, up. It just to goes some, somewhere. It goes it just, to some white guy's desk where he goes, <laughs> a big pile of the money. Monopoly guy. Black people's <laughs> money. Let me just keep counting it. It just keeps getting sucked up. Some guy up with here. a handlebar mustache. Yeah, yeah, he's twirling <laughs> his mustache. <laughs> it's dangerous, man. So, so is it? Is it's it a to that point where the money's just sucked away, dude? I haven't seen that either. Yeah, God man, they damn. don't. They don't even have tellers anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just. There he is. That's the guy at the top of the <laughs> <laughs> monopoly guy. Ah, come and come will, they'll kill you over some chicken. So I, I always yeah. announce, please, just don't look. Take it. Yeah, just don't Kate, kill me. man, don't kill me over just this shit, please. Me. I could get a new wallet. I see your face, but I don't see it. I, I don't see it. I'm diabetic, nigga. I got retinopathy. <laughs> I'll get all kinds of new shit. Just don't <clears throat> fucking kill me. Don't fucking kill me, man. Do not kill me over this shit, man. I'm not going to tell anybody anything. It ain't uh, even about not snitching. It's just go, d just steal and go, man. Take this shit. If I see you with it on, I'm not going to try to get it back. I'm fucking trying to, these motherfuckers Damn. will kill you. Mm. Are they showing, like, are they literally pulling guns out, pointing them and taking money these days? Like, what's yes, the, they preferred, have to. the preferred way to rob somebody? Not, no one's playing around. When I was a no kid, one's fucking around. when I was a kid, a I knife. got robbed twice. Yeah. Uh, one was implied gunpoint and one was actual gunpoint. Oh, implied was <clears> what? <throat> he did the old school the, in the This nigga did the Texas yeah, finger see? in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and, took, and took his hand out and took the money and put the gun <laughs> Say, man, with the finger gun, gun nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have to do much else. I wasn't fucking with him. I don't know any karate moves. I don't even know, even if I got a motherfucker was quick enough to hold him, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Like I would do a movie thing and just keep hitting his hand on yeah. something really hard, and maybe he'll drop it. And I'm like, get the How fuck out of here. How scary is it, though, to, to, be, to just watch that 
barrel of the gun as you're trying to hold it, <coughs> just slowly turning toward your face. No, I, I, like, and you're trying your best to not. Oh, the only thing, that. the only thing you get mad enough to do is is die. Meaning, <laughs> I'm. You know what? I'm so mad right now. I'm willing to take this gunshot so you take don't have chance. satisfaction. I hate you so much for this. Yeah. The other one I got robbed with a gun. And a uh, mm. little, little small caliber. I don't know. You know, to me, t yeah, people is. aren't even scared of twenty twos who know guns. They think twenty twos are funny. They'll fuck you up. But they'll kill you, whatever. Yeah. And uh, but he knew he could rob me at this point. It, th this is why I'm so angry. Quick, I'm so quick and angry because yeah. the guy had been testing me all the way that night. We was playing basketball. And he just some dude was around. Just bumping into everybody. Holy he was just fine. But you were playing the guy on the basketball court? We were playing basketball, yeah. Oh, what a prick. A pickup game? Pickup game. And don't know the guy. Don't know the guy. He's just elbowing you the entire game. Not elbowing. He was... What the he fuck? He was just lurk. A... He was lurking. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, if I... Look, it's called the punk test. So, oh. like, it's like five phases... I bump into you, you go, hey, why? Yeah, yeah, there, this, there was enough room for me to, and you to walk without <laughs> you bumping into me. <laughs> then it was like, a, then it's like a step on your foot. Then it's like a, oops, a hard pinch. You're like, hey, man, he's doing what? recon on your He's ass. doing recon, yeah, yeah. and by the time he decides he's going to make up whatever story he is, they're going to rob you. Like, he even made up a story. He go, yo, you, I think you was, yo, you did something to my cousin. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried. Why, why do you need an excuse? Yeah, at this point, <laughs> if you have a gun, and I'm, I was so ashamed because to really make it hurt. What Wait the a minute. fuck? He goes like this. He goes. This he shit. goes. Hey, yo. I, and I said, uh oh. Uh -huh. So I, I tried to be hardcore uh -huh. right away. I tried to be hardcore, but he had already given me the punk test. I failed <laughs> miserably. <laughs> <laughs> Mazno, so I fit Mazno, and so he he fell. Why do you think Maz is a twelve degree black belt? <laughs> Somebody got him with the punk test when he was fucking young. Oh, <clears throat> so he goes, yo, and then I buy, I go, yo, what the, what's up, yo? Like, but he already knew, and he's like, yo, yeah. man, what the fuck you mean, what's up? I said, whoops. Uh, oh. I, I stuck my heart in my pocket just so you don't take that away. I need the, my heartbeat. That motherfucker. <laughs> He he fucking he didn't need a gun at that point, but he knew it. He already knew. Yeah. And fucking he he stole a, I had a, one of those break dancing. I was the first oh, motherfucker no. to have a break dancing puma suit. It was an old oh, school. Get the, if you look he at the puma suit, <laughs> he did took he? my four X tall puma suit. <laughs> what were you wearing? I, luckily, <laughs> holy I shit. had on. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> luckily. I had on a pair of not sexy sweatpants because it was a little cold. Uh -huh. So I had some non sexy sweatpants Underneath. under the Puma suit and a sweater under the Puma suit jacket. And he took he took my Puma suit. What Your pants and everything. He took my pants. <laughs> now what did he say? <laughs> what did he say? He said, yo, nigga. Um Yo, you the motherfucker that fucking <laughs> You, oh, you the nigga that was fucking with my cousin, yo. Yo, what the fuck? You, you too big to be fucking with my cousin, nigga. Oh, I was like, no. what cousin? I was yeah, trying, trying to be trying hard. To he said, shut the fuck up, nigga. And he, he just, he didn't even pull it. He showed me the G of the gun, nigga. Like, right, I don't right. It was just whatever he showed you. And I was standing there frozen, man. So you now, what, are you thinking he's going to take your Puma suit? No, I'm thinking. So when he says. I'm thinking. He's going to shoot you, man. No, I'm, I know he didn't think. That I really did something to his stupid cousin. Right. I didn't know what he wanted. But did you just... Might have been sneakers, because I had to break dance some Puma sneakers, too. <laughs> I was dressed... I was dressed like Ozone from breaking, nigga. I'm telling you. But now when I'm he said... said yo, I give want... me, yo, give me that Puma suit, yo. Give me them... Yo, give are me, you them, give me like, a suit, yo. Are you thinking... Are you fucking shitting me? You want my clothes? No, because back then, people were dying over two things. Eight ball jackets. Eight jackets. <laughs> but back then it was bombers. Bombers. They were dying. If you had a night, and it didn't have to be leather. If you had a bomber or a nice jacket, you get you got killed. Yeah. And uh, big radios that you would carry on your shoulder. Yeah, the big. Why would boxes. you walk around that way then? <laughs> because you fucking. Because that's the way you walked around. You had to. Why would you increase your odds though? Holy what are you gonna do? That's shit! What, I'm just, that's what, I, but I'm telling this you, this is my dumb world. I don't get but this. World. Black people like wolf tick. We don't like to. Be punks like I know it's dude. Look, it's not it's unexplainable, but we don't like to. So it's the dozens. It's wolf tick. It's like it's like fuck that. 
I'm I'm, I'm carrying doing my I'm shit. Gonna do. I'm I'm so, yeah, I'm carrying my shit. Did you I have carry. to take your pants off in front of I everyone? I took my p in front of him and another motherfucker. Oh, were they laughing? Another motherfucker with him? Were they laughing? Were they rubbing it in when you were taking <laughs> them off? Nigga, <laughs> when he said go around the corner, I right, get the fuck out of here. I walked around the corner as soon as I didn't <clears throat> see him. You've never seen a 300 pound person run, run that fast. fast. <laughs> Soon as he let me go, because he could have been like, you know what? Let me just yeah, fuck this fuck guy, this motherfucker. I think he saw me. He yeah, might, you know I don't like, like this motherfucker. Say so. And I ran, and I think I looked back, and I saw them peek, and they was not gonna chase me because I ran fast. Holy! Then I went over to my boy's shit. house because he was close. Yeah, let's get these motherfuckers. No, no. He laughed. He, they all laughed. They laughed. I was sitting there. You, you didn't know. pull any boys in the hood. Shit? I, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I fucking was punching the air. Like, what the shit the fuck up? Niggas was laughing and shit. Some boys in the shit. Niggas was laughing. The thing about this guy, he was notorious. I didn't feel so bad. Oh, God damn. He was notorious, this guy. Oh, yeah, I yeah. seen him three more times robbing three other people. Three Holy different, shit. In, day, in daylight around there. He was Brazen. He was, he was, a, he was fucking a, fuck. a public enemy, this guy. I seen him at a wrestling match <clears throat> robbing people. What, you have to find speaking. out what, what happened to him? No, I don't. Hopefully gunned down somewhere. He's something not good. I mean, I'm sure he's, yeah. His luck was going to run out. That sometimes man was Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't like karma works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at this point, this day, back then it was, they let you live, man. They, you, yeah, you, yeah. They, you, in that situation now, they'd shoot me. They just, They would shoot me just... Because they wanted to pull that trigger, man. There's, there's motherfuckers that die for Wait less. Wait until you take the Puma service and all stuff. Can't be stitching <laughs> oh, up a I was, hole I in that. I was dressed like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, was, I thought the story was going to end with you in boxers. Oh, if you were standing there oh, in boxers shit. and a wife beater. And no shoes. <laughs> no shoes. <laughs> no, shoe, and no, no shoes and boxers. I would have so been bad. happy. So, And that was pre-diabetes, so I would have walked over glass and everything to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Cut up feet. Rocks. Oh, God <laughs> damn. That's but but after that, up. it's the punk test. And it, it, it fucked me up for the rest of my life. I, was, I might have been 13, 14, but I was a big motherfucker. Damn. I was already in high school playing football. And... and uh. And I always say, you know, don't let a motherfucker get to the next place. Yeah. Because he's just in anything. Like, in, and even in business, you just go, no, I'm not going to. Right at level one. <clears throat> it's like, oh, if you, you know, just, you know, and, and like the advice you get in show business. Hey, man, just do it this way this time. And then the next time you can get mm. more. Like, no, nah, once a motherfucker, fuck you in your butt. He wants to take four more pumps. You think he's gonna take one pump? Four more. This guy bumped like into an, me. I should have like said with one pump. I should have said, man, there was a lot of room, man. Whatever the fuck you trying to do, you better do it. Don't don't go put me through this shit. Oh, oh yeah. You, so that's I like, what you're like, I you should have said. I would. I should have just said, yo, man, whatever the fuck you doing, do yeah. it. Because I don't have a gun, but <clears throat> don't play me. Yeah, was, yeah. was he a big guy? No, it was two of them. It was a little, this little, I don't want to say his name. I feel like saying his name, but I don't know if I'm going to say his name. Because I don't know if he's still a little motherfucker. But they used to rob drug dealers, too. They weren't no, wow, they just like saw my, my breakdancing Puma suit. Oh, they yeah. can't be alive. Right when that. they saw that suit, they were probably like, <clears throat> I am jacking that motherfucker for his suit. Dude, I, my moms used to go out to get me some shit sometime, oh. man. I had a, a big, I was, I had to be 250, 260 then. So it was a 3X at least. What the fuck was he gonna do with that? Sell it to a Sell big motherfucker. There's somebody that was breakdancing in my shit. <laughs> <laughs> he should have took the shoes too. I think he was being um, I think was he was being, being merciful. Nice yeah, he was mercy on you. Yeah, uh, he, <laughs> he was being benevolent. Let the little motherfucker. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Fourteen Fuck years him. old. Fourteen, man. This yeah. motherfucker was a Did hard you, criminal. But you must have been fucking <laughs> feeling just like so violated. Yeah. That must have been a violating feeling. A lot of things happened to me as a kid. A guy was in the house when I came home from school one time in the fifth grade. And my, you know, I was a latchkey kid. Mm -hmm. He swung in through the... We lived on the third floor, the top of the building. He <laughs> swung in through the window. Swung in through the... And was the, in there. Don't make it that easy for Anthony, please. <laughs> no. Don't make it that easy for him. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It's the make, him work, <laughs> make him work for it, Patrice, will you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he swung through the window. And uh, he was in the house, man. I was I was uh, 10 or something in fifth grade. And he was standing there with a knife and shit. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna lie... 
It was a butter knife, but I was just too... A knife's a knife. I was a just too nervous to, to end, know what right? to do, Damn. yeah. And uh, that fucker locked me in the closet. Shit. Uh, but I had knew he was not a hardened guy, because he was kind of nervous. But I was too young to even know, and yeah, I don't know. I probably yeah. was big enough to fuck him up, but... Was he a cracky, you think? <clears throat> it was probably new little, crack. It was probably new. A little, uh, little desperate. So, what, mom came home and had to get, let you out of the closet? Yeah, and she was mad that she had to come home. <laughs> it was gangster. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was gangsta. mad at you? She was kind of mad that I let this little <laughs> motherfucker lock me in the closet. She said, how many were there? It was just one. Like, Did you fucking went in the closet? And this nigga, you know what I remember from that? What did they take? That? Do you remember? I remember what he took. Yeah. My mother, when when we used to sell spices <laughs> for school, you know, the school, back then we would sell spices. Yeah. It now it's be, candy bars. Now it's candy bars, but it used to be spices. <laughs> My mother sold enough spices for me to get a TV. Nice. Oh, he stole my no. spice TV. That, that motherfucker, motherfucker stole, stole my my spice prize television. That cocksucker. My mother sold enough for you to choose what you wanted in the magazine. I had my little spice. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, this is terrible. I'm so glad shit. I gave you a gift today. I'm so glad today's the day I gave you the gift. I cannot believe how terrible this shit is. It's horrendous. It just to me seems so violating. It is. And that's why you, why you think I'm so mad? Like it's just I'd be mad all that, the time. Like you gotta carry that anger with yeah, you. Yeah, because your you just go, you life. just go. That's a lot of people. I got a friend that boxes now. That he boxes because he's it was some things that happened to him, and he just wants to beat people up, man. <clears throat> The only thing I he remember... He just wants to beat you up. Fr from my youth, the only thing I remember that was really violating to me was uh, uh, this one kid in front of these stores used to slap box with me every so often, and I was never good at fighting or anything. I never knew how to block anything, so this, this guy was just able to smack me around <clears> and shit. <throat> but it was light, like taps and shit like that. And one day he was with two of his friends... And he's like, hey, give me a get over here. And I was like, oh, fuck. Here comes the <laughs> and he starts slap boxing. So he throws a slap at me, and I lean back, and I come back forward, and a fucking right <laughs> fist was waiting for me. Jesus. Bam! He clocked me in the eye. I oh. went down on my ass, blind in that eye. Like, it was just couldn't see. I, I grabbed my eye and just felt warm all over, blood pouring down my fucking face and i looked up enough with one eye to see him and his friends going ah, ha, 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 like laughing at me almost knocked out on my ass bleeding from my eye and i can't tell you how many years like that's to this day in my head, still, you never heal day, from certain things to dude. this day and, and all i wanted to do was fucking kill him. Is that the guns? And I had fantasies is about the guns. guns. That's probably is that, where the guns is that come the from. guns? That's probably where the guns. Is, is it, dude? If Gabri you Gabriel Mares. You yeah, never forget the name. The name. Oh, you no, no, and no. you think yeah, you grew older? But see, where I grew up, it was there was this was before gangs. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was from you know three to, to fifteen there was no gangs it no was, no it was the rough kids and the silly kids i was a silly <laughs> motherfucker i was funny yeah. and i played ball and then it was the, the street kids and your whole life was trying to avoid those kids you took a new route you pick a route and go around the corner <laughs> yeah, you, you see the motherfuckers <laughs> coming you you build your quick escape James Bond. You unpack your James Bond uh, equipment submarine car, nigga, and go in the lake. And there was these motherfuckers that lived next door. Um, I know I remember their names too. I just don't say they can't. They they caught one of my friends, man, by himself. Man, they made him do two things, and I felt bad for him to this day. They made him hold a Dixie cup so they could shoot. Uh, rocks with a with homemade slingshots at the Dixie Cup <laughs> as target practice, and they made him be a basketball hoop. <laughs> oh God! So he made his arms. They made him hold his arms. So oh, your face shit. is the backboard, and, he, and they would shoot, and his, the, the the ball would hit his face. And go into the oh, into God. his arm. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and all you know is all you can do is go, man. I'm glad they didn't, they didn't catch me today. Yeah, yeah. That's wasn't why. You. That's why this whole cyberbullying thing is just horseshit in the end. Because we all yeah, grew stop up with this. Are you telling me the guy 
Are you telling me after Puma suit I shouldn't have fucking right, yeah, jumped, jumped off a, a couple of sleeping pills? It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Something. you know, you know, At shit. Least it's horrible what happened to that kid. But, I hate. I, but, I felt bad for that kid, but of course yeah. it's not. But it's not an epidemic. But it's, I'll tell it's you something. Always else. been around. At least cyberbullying. Some form ain't of fucking bullying. Leaving me with a black eye and fucking blood, uh, blood pouring out. And someone else now has to deal with your fucking. The redemption, With like you're, right. you're gonna be quick to blow a fucking. <laughs> I ain't and when you shoot him, I ain't getting hit again, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you think I, I'm gonna ever get hit in my eye again, you fucking sadly mistaken. We don't have to do this, obviously, but uh, we could take phone calls for days about how people were bullied growing up, or well, did the bullying? Y yes. And it's, I even said some of the bullies were even bullied. I had to hit. Yeah. I had to. I, the first time I stood up for myself. <clears throat> and this is why TV is very important, by the way. <laughs> this motherfucker was fucking with me. Teeth. I said, I ain't taking this shit no more, man. Fuck this, right? Mm -hmm. um, I remember my man Gomez. I have to say this. Gomez, uh, this dude had did something to me the day before. He had punched me in the face. And I had thought about it all night. Could and, you tell me how old you were uh, for uh, reference? Uh, 15. 15. This is when I said, 15, I'm, you finally said I, 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 I want to wear my own Puma I, yeah, suit. Yeah, I, I, I more can't than a deal day. with not wearing my Puma suit ever again. <laughs> Puma suit. And, uh, <clears throat> and this motherfucker did. I think he, he had. He had uh, oh, no. It was two days before we were playing basketball. And he passed me the ball, and I missed the pass some. But I guess, you know, you want to fight somebody anyway. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you just make up anything to fight. So we, we had a fight or something. But I, I had said, I took the high road. Like, look, man, I. I don't want to, you know, you get older, they, when you're younger, that you're a punk, older, you're like, ah, are you serious? But <clears throat> we, we, he was just like following me home. I went home and the next day on the bus, Gomez was like, yo, let me hold your bag because you got to do what you got to do. I remember Gomez, Gomez actually, this nigga, that's the nigga that said, man, you, you got no choice. Yeah, yeah, it's time. But to... I had, um, you ever <laughs> see Bad Boys with Sean Penn? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love that one. Well, and I didn't have coke cans to put into a soup, into a um <laughs> into the pillow into case a pillow case. Or whatever the <laughs> I put it I put my mother had aerobic weights and I put aerobic oh. weights in a plastic bag and took it to the bus and I just started swinging on it with aerobic weights. Fuck. But what happened is I I went back to hit that third swing and I really didn't get them good like I wanted to. They flew out the back of the bag. Mm. And I and so I hit them twice with just an empty bag <laughs> so i just had to jump on him and just start fighting and once my fist i just wasn't a fighter when i was growing up once my fist i was physical but not uh, just punching people did, but once my fist started hitting his face yeah i was like this is not so bad <laughs> <laughs> and he swung and hit me and we were fighting yeah and not, i go this is not so bad to get fucked up and then possibly fuck somebody else up you know, I was 300 pounds, so that couldn't have felt good to him. No. So I have a mind. Anytime they, you know, you get hit in the eye, you see the shine, <laughs> that that big shine, and then it goes back to regular. <laughs> <laughs> or in the nose, yeah, you both yeah. eyes shine, and then go back, but then your nose is like, <laughs> and I'm like, this ain't so magic. <laughs> like, his must feel yeah, really bad. Was. So that was when I was like, I don't want to deal with this no more. Mm -hmm. That was literally the last time, but I was still, this motherfucker pull a gun out. I'm going to look, look, man. Take yeah, what you yeah, gotta yeah, take, yeah. but in terms of a motherfucker like balling up his fist, I used to be scared to fight. But if a motherfucker balling up his fist, you know, hey, yeah, yeah. I'll take a punch. I'll take a fucking punch in the face. Fuck that shit. I've never been very good at taking a punch though. But it's like to give one like, is worth taking one. It just got a glass jaw mm -hmm. <laughs> to hit a motherfucker. You knock, know it hurts. You knock right the fuck out. <laughs> if you just if you just kind of lightly hit yourself in the face, just a little harder than. Soft? Mm -hmm. That fucking hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Especially when you get older. It's just. Oh, not, now you just yeah, fucking. Just like, oh. please, please. <laughs> now you don't. Like, like, That's fuck. only white trash. <laughs> right. You will only see white trash old guys on, on cops. <laughs> In the just, trailer park. Just beefing. You know, just, yeah, motherfucker, like drunk and punching each other in the face, all <laughs> bloodied, their t shirts ripped. He started talking shit about my wife and. Oh. I've never been much of a uh, a fighter. I, 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 yeah. I, yeah, like I just, got out of a lot of shit by. But being you're funny a though. But see, the funny people funny. are funny. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you get away with it. You know, funny, but but where I'm from, funny was too much laughing, too much giggling, too mm. much. You know how I became a victim in that Puma that story? I remember. I never fucking forgot. Oh, uh, what'd you do? <laughs> I was doing an impression of Deputy Dog. 
Oh, in the oh, fucking hood. That guy in the hood. In that the guy hood. just went like, oh, yeah. This fat oh, pussy. Oh, <laughs> and I was going, <laughs> like, he's, I was like, you remember, oh. we talk, we laughing about Deputy Dog. And this motherfucker was like, you just know he was like this mm-hmm. motherfucker. You're doing Deputy Dog. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I remember that uh, shit like it was yesterday. I'm 40. Still, uh, still. I, yeah. if I had three genie wishes, nigga. <laughs> that would be one of them? One of them. <laughs> billion dollars, cure diabetes, and just and burn this nigga every day. Like, he's just on fire, but he won't die. Just fucking pussy. <laughs> uh, that's a great story, Patrice. God damn, is that fucking... Just yeah. amazing. You playing bananas this weekend, Patrice? Yes, sir. Poughkeepsie bananas. Poughkeepsie. Two shows Friday, uh, two shows oh. Saturday. Bananascomedyclub.com or Big Mama Prods on Twitter for all the info, right? Yeah. You, you tweet order, your gigs, order, don't the, you? Uh, PatriceO'Neal.com. Oh, yeah, let's start pro- uh, promoting that again. PatriceO'Neal.com. All right, we'll get into something uh, different after the break. You want to sure, do country music today? Whatever you want to do. Really like That's that. a bit people ask for all the time. <laughs> we, we look at the top ten country songs and try to figure out what the fucking songs are about because we don't know the, the genre. God damn. <laughs> I'm just still stunned. For the Puma suit. The Puma suit. <laughs> from the damn Puma suit. The guy suit. just knew from Deputy Dog and and knew. stepping on your toe. He just knew. God damn. He knew I was that guy. That's a whole fucking strategy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was a hell of an hour of, a, of radio right there, my friend. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Don't make me I'm tell in, these stories I be forgetting. I'm in shock. Hey, uh, did you watch uh, the Jets? Man, I, I I knew I was coming in, so I, sl- I went to sleep a little early. I know the game started a little late. Late because of the fucking lightning. But the lightning. Jets are actually looking uh, like pretty uh, goddamn uh, good, man. I don't want to jinx it, but they're looking all right, man. But I don't Fucking ha- Sanchez I don't is trust playing Sanchez. all right this year. I know. That's I what I'm thinking. Him. I just don't trust that kid. So far, so good, though, with him. He's doing, man, and then Braylon Edwards... Love Braylon Edwards. Is the key to it all because he's actually like he's not dropping the ball. He's not. He's playing. Fuck, man, he is playing. they are looking. They are looking fucking good. Man. Four and one. They're looking good. They might be the best team in the NFL right now. Like if you're doing the. I mean, people are saying Baltimore because See, Baltimore beat them. But. Right. But they could easily have won that game, yeah, too. Yeah, that was a shitty I game. I don't know uh, the NFL well enough to say the Jets are the best team in the league right now. I just well, don't know. Uh, that's, that's, that's an argument for sports radio. I don't but know. But it's not. I mean, it's not It's not New Orleans, and it's not uh, 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 Indianapolis. No, of um, course you not. you got some that have a decent record, but you know they're not really that record, which is Kansas City. Right. Um, I mean, the Patriots possibly... But their defense is really bad this year. Like you know, people are, are scoring too much on them. And what are they saying uh, about Moss and Brady? That they had to be they separated had, they had or a something. Beef, and they was <laughs> didn't Moss say that his uh, haircut made him look like, like a girl, a girl yeah, or something? And then fuck <laughs> like it. But Brady girl. said, "Take off those stupid dreads. You look like an asshole." <laughs> like and, then and, then, and, and Moss said, "Fucking, you look like a bitch." Like why would why would there be a problem there, man? Brady's yeah, but, a great quarterback. You want a great quarterback if you're Moss, yeah, right? Three years, three Why would you want to go back and play with Brett Favre? That's just nothing. Far because right. he, It was money. Patriots, it wasn't that argument. It was just all about money in the end? Yeah, people who don't, people who aren't dudes. He, had a better, he has a better shot winning with the fucking Patriots right now than the Vikings. Yeah. Right? But he didn't, it was a money, the Patriots are fucking cheap. <laughs> they let they they let Richard Seymour go. They're not loyal and they're cheap, man. They're they're disloyal, cheap team. That's the one thing I don't I don't I don't root for them as hard as I should. I like the Patriots because I'm from Boston. It's just like kind of in my blood. Sure. But they but Kraft is an asshole, man. He lets good people go. <laughs> Why would he do that? Well, I guess he's got enough Super Bowls under his belt, right? I guess uh, if that's how he so feels about it, but it's not worth uh, worth it to him to really push. But that argument was nothing because you argue yeah. as a team when, when yeah, sure. these, these sports guys who. I, you, you know, talking about Brett Favre and his and this and this thing saying it's a like I heard somebody talking yesterday on ten fifty and just talking about dude, these are guys talking about he's either sick or is he just a bad guy? Like talking Who? how the fuck is Who? That? man I Brett think, Favre? Yes. Because of this Again, because of this thing he's sending he's doing his, guy boys. shit? Yes. That's it's like why do these guys do you know they go, man, it's 
it has to be, I think it was Michael K, but it wasn't Michael K who was being not a dude. Mm -hmm. He was being careful not to go either side. It was somebody okay. else that was like, I don't get this, man. And it's like, but Michael K goes throughout history. Men have destroyed them themselves over women. Yeah. And it's like, you why? Say over pussy. Over pussy. And he goes, why do they do that? And then the other guy goes, is it because they're a bad guy? Is it anybody who's really serious? But it's like, a bad no, guy. Brett Favre fuck? doesn't want to fucking ruin his life over over pussy. But he, he sent this picture. It's never good for a guy to send a picture of himself <laughs> <laughs> it's just not good, man. It's not fucking good, but it's just like these things. It's no. It's really, to be honest, it's no big deal except for to you and your and your woman. And, right, and right. most of the time, these guys, women, they they just go, just why can't you just not make me look bad? Like, <laughs> like don't force me to have to divorce you. Mm -hmm. Like I, now, I have to divorce you. Like in those situations, they both know what's going on. Just keep it between us, right? And his wife was dealing with cancer, so now it makes him uh, yeah, look he's like a real scumbag. Super douche, right. super douche. Fucking George Lopez getting a divorce. His wife gives him a kidney. Uh, yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, he's fucked. <laughs> so he looks like a real dirtbag. <laughs> I cheat on my bitch. I gotta. I get caught. This bitch, she got to deal with the fact that she clips my toenails for me because I got to be careful with my feet. Like, <laughs> you can't I'm bleed. an asshole. You know what I'm saying? My girl is with diabetes. You clip my toenails. Sweetie, what's this boil right here on my ass? Oh, that's weird looking. Let me see. Like, you get the. Wow. When your bitch is, loves you like that. You yeah, just, that's hardcore. I want to make her look like a fucking asshole. That's real she shit. gave up a kidney for George. She gave up a <laughs> fucking kidney. Damn. And he and if you look at his wife, man, no, I mean, look, it's, it is what it is. I mean, I'm 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 in the same business, and he, you know, I don't want to make the fucker mad. He has a show, but mm. if you see his wife, you you have no choice but to cheat on her. Like <laughs> <laughs> you can't stay faithful to that. <laughs> kidney or no kidney? Kidney or bitch? Take your <laughs> oh, kidney back. I gotta damn. get some pussy. You see, the, she can she like, get her kidney back? You think, nigga? I'd give it back I, to her. I bet you there's a lawyer out there that will that try to get that, that done. Back. That will try to get that done for. Her. Get me that kidney. But you back. see that face? She should be giving up organs mm -hmm. yeah, to keep him. Uh... He's the most famous Mexican on planet Earth. That's great. Oh fuck! Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> all right, Patrice. All he right. can get all kinds of. <laughs> all right. He can get them Telemundo chicks. <laughs> George went in a wig. <laughs> oh, wow. He's married to Chris Farley. Uh, Chris, Chris Farley Chris, in a dark wig. Chris Farley from that bit they used to do when they were all the chicks uh, at the restaurant. Oh, at, at the Gap. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're getting the divorce. They go, they're done. Oh. You know, but evidently they're still friends or something because she probably just knows, man. Yeah. She just knows. Oof. But wow, he did, the, wow, you know what the thing about him? Wow, wow, he wow. did what the right thing. He, he went to hookers. And yeah. the hookers snitched on him. That's the game now. Not even safe with the hookers, Patrice. Nah, not, not even safe anymore, with the right? hookers now. That's it's, what we're learning today. Yeah, huh? Hookers are ratting out uh, all ratting these them, guys. Ratting them out. I don't think Brett Favre's a bad guy for what he was doing. He was Come just on, trying man. to get some fucking pussy. 40 years old. Obviously wasn't happy with his uh, situation. Mm. He's be and he's being a decent dude. Look, his wife is sick, man. And he was staying with her. He went through that shit. Yeah. And, and he didn't leave her. But it's like this young pretty thing man yeah. he was just like man i'm brett fucking wrangling far he's, right? got, a, he's got a small penis <laughs> well did, uh, it happens man you can't penis. look you can't control the size of your dick you're pretty I, you should have be sending it out there matter of fact let me cancel those three wishes i'm canceling <laughs> i'm canceling killing this motherfucker replace it with a bigger dick <laughs> with just a bigger dick but he thought i guess i guess he thought his small penis was going to get the job done is what I'm saying. But he might have a grower. You know, who knows what the fuck Brett has. I don't has. know, man. He, uh, don't but you don't know. send you that when it's not. Then you don't send it when it's not. You don't a send a midget. <laughs> yeah. You don't send it's it when a it's midget size. Right. George Costanza from the pool <laughs> size. Yeah, if you got a if you got a grower, you should water it first before you send it to anybody. <laughs> Fucking water Can that shit. Get some fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Get some Miracle Grow. Jesus, Brett. Jesus, Brett doesn't have a swinging dick. Oh. oh, wow. I'm sorry. I got distracted from looking at these wonderful fucking Afghani people that chopped this woman's nose off. Why did they do that, to... Anthony? Well, apparently she must have been fucking, you know, not wearing a burqa or fucking... She probably was raped. 
So and her noseless her face nose is off. on the front front cover of Time? Yeah, they, they cut her fucking nose off, but then she comes here to get a new nose on. The Taliban fucking cut her nose off. Oh, man. We, we had some fucked up people. We, we had the well, Brett Favre girl on our show, by the way, Patrice. Yes, we what, did. What, before the situation? Yeah, before the situation. Yeah. Nice girl? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, trying. I was yeah, trying. She's all right. I mean, nice. that. that's uh, not. I mean, come, come on, on Brett. And then someone's claiming I mean, that not. he's got huge hands, and that's why it looks so small. Nah, you can see. Nah, yeah. that's a that's a sickly little dick, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sickly and little that's, dick. That looks like. But that's not guaranteed, Brett. What is that one? That's a. That's weird Brett. One. Yeah, but that's like a an angle. Yeah, he's trying oh, wow. there. Wow, Brett doesn't have a Hall of Fame dick. I <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> no Hall of Famer. Jesus Christ. And that's pretty much. You know, full fucking. Yeah, that's not a big dick, man. I'm, I'm, it, there's nothing loaded. worse than growing up without a giant swinger, because, man, I used to go home in my full football equipment, nigga, to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> take a shower. <laughs> Maybe in tuxedos on the bus. I'm like, nigga, I'm, I'm taking a shower in the house. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you do have the small dick, you don't, you don't put, you don't put that out there like that, Patrice. That's all. <laughs> I can stand it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I put this is the baby's room. I'm really sorry. <laughs> She's laughing at his dick. I was in the pool! I was in the pool! <laughs> <laughs> the hands. I was in the pool. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Shrinkage. Well, we talked about sports. We talked about it earlier, but we got to get your take on it. You don't watch hockey. I Are heard there... this thing though. Oh, yeah, have you seen it? Great no. Clip. It's it's uh, it's awesome. I heard. I heard and sports it. needs this shit to come back. <laughs> they really do. But they're gonna end up uh, suspending the kid if he is if he's even a kid. I don't I don't know. I do a, I do a joke about how how much we're talking about the blowjob gesture, obviously, to Avery. Yeah, I do, I do a joke in, in about how how much we've changed in terms of sports. When I when I was coming up playing football, this this is a phenomenon that when I played didn't happen. You hit a guy, and he doesn't get up. We didn't hold hands uh, with oh, the right, other right, team right. and like, like oh, and please make pray. Him okay. Yeah, and the crowd's quiet and worried. We would do choreographed like, paralysis right. fucking dances. That's right. We we would, you know what I mean? It was yeah, it was just course. this weird. You can't tackle, dude. You yeah. you can't believe I was watching college football this weekend. How many penalties they give out because mm -hmm. this guy, this two hundred fifty pound guy who's running as fast as he can, is trying to hit another two hundred fifty pound guy. Yeah, and he has to stop his fury. So he doesn't hit him too hard. Like it's just. Yeah, what the fuck is what that? What are you trying to? What's going on? What the fuck is going on, man? That's this like, is the thing with the with the gesture. Oh yeah, I want to see if the announcers even uh, say anything. And Avery gives Di Pietro a little shower. That's what Wisniewski took exception to. <laughs> so perhaps an appointment. They, they don't even say, acknowledge they it happened. Acknowledge it. Ah, just... What do you say? Perhaps an appointment. Uh, what did he say? He oh, said perhaps a, a, an appointment. Appointment of a penalty. So perhaps, perhaps. An appointment. Maybe perhaps an appointment with uh, Gary Bettman. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. And it wasn't that. No that wasn't egregious at all. That was pretty good though. He, it was he, funny. He, he's got it down it's pretty good. It's right? fucking funny. <laughs> We've he's all like, done what you that? gonna do, yeah, pussy? Yeah. Oh, right. oh, oh, fuck you. He just call him a fucking fag. Yeah, that's it. We've all done that. Exactly. I love when that shit. He's happens not gonna get suspended though. You don't think? Absolutely not. How, why not? What's hockey, your, what, what's hockey's, a, hockey's a fringe sport. No one cares, and and uh, I mean honestly, and and uh, it, it's it's not a sport that like the worst thing that ever happened. I think, and the guy got suspended for what twenty games, was some brutal hit where the dude could have died or something. And I think that was a twenty game suspension. Oh, that was over the head behind. Who was, oh, it was right, right. some Just brutal. Right. Him over the fucking and I think head. it was a full season one With one time too. But it, it, this is yeah. that was because of like almost an assault. But other than other than mm. the blowjob thing, he he'll get a fine for that. For for lewd gesture, no one. This is like some unprecedented thing. They would have to invent it. Todd Bertuzzi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. Well, the names come up. It's not. And there was no penalty on the ice either. 
No, it's just the guys yeah. fucking around in yeah. front of the net a little bit. Yeah. 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 No, I, trust I, me. That's why I don't think they want How did you wanna... say it's a big suspension? I good. think it is. I think they're going to suspend him. I don't so think so, bro. should face suspension for gesture. That's Who's Scott, saying that? Scott Burns. A Burnside, sports blogger? Some blogger asshole. That can't be Shut a man up, anymore. Fruit. Sports talk is the worst. They're not men anymore. They're not able. It's really strange to listen to. I, I think there's this, one guy who's there's a, some who's guys a dude out there that's still doing it. But uh, Colin Cowherd, man, he'll he'll say okay, some fucking yeah, shit. I like show. him, man. I like him. But he'll in general, these guys are being so safe with what they're saying. Well, you see the guys who you can't even. You, did you watch Monday Night Football? Brett Favre. It's obviously dick pictures and all that, and how they were talking about it. <laughs> His little pink dick. You didn't know what they were talking about because they were trying to talk around. Talk they were talking around, around it. Yeah. It. You can't use 9-11 analogies. I, I don't, why can't you use, like the guys like, I think it was New Orleans, let's go in there and, oh no, it was a Katrina. It wasn't, it wasn't 9-11. Uh, yeah, it was like, let's go in there and beat those New Orleans Saints and like, f jump on them like Hurricane Katrina. Like, <laughs> they can't, you can't use bad thing analogies. Oh, no, oh, let's fly oh. a foot and, let's just fly two feet right into his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you? You because you can't. Why? Oh, oh yeah, Chris yeah. Simon, longest NHL suspension for the people that care. Thirty games uh, for stomping on the leg of Pittsburgh's uh, yeah, J oh. Jarko Rutu, right in December two thousand. Thirty games for violence. violence. Yeah, Simon Simon uh, didn't play. Man, he was with the Islanders for a while. Chris Simon, oh. he did not play. That guy was an animal. But who's doing? Is it any? Can anybody stop this shit? Like, is it any no. possible way? What do you mean? Like, if someone took a stand, like who could take a stand? They've already stopped against, most of this. No, no, no. I mean, who could take a stand against, like, fucking being angry about this shit? Like, who can do that? No, yeah, and then come change and say, change the whole culture not, where let's not become even more pussies than we are. Let's kind of take I don't it know. back. Can like sixty minutes do it? Like, if one of yeah, them, yeah. if like no, Dan think, Rather go, or whoever's on there goes. I think one of these coaches. I think one of these Vegas. coaches has to just step up and say "fuck that." It's they not, do. It, it's not going to happen, really, though. J Joe Namath is a, that type of guy. Joe Namath mm. is like, like here, no one. They're getting in trouble for saying that they're. I, I was Michael K. Shaw. I was listening to, and I don't know who was saying what, but I know it was like, it was dangerous to say that there shouldn't be women in the fucking locker room. Like, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. not a dangerous thing to say. It should not be women. You should be able to discuss mm -hmm. that openly, at like, least. At least and they talk were, about they it. They were scared to talk about it openly. It's unfair to me if I'm a young soldier with testosterone. <laughs> and this bi that bitch that, that, that was dealing with the Jets, she has one of the best asses I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and she shows it off, too. And she shows it. And she comes in and asking her a dumb question. And my dick is long and it fucking works correctly. <laughs> and you're like, hey, what's up, baby? Like, I should at least be able to find out if she's a fucking whore. Right. I shouldn't have to, like, approach her all the time as a gentleman. I used to be like, yeah, I'm going to ask you a question, but let me ask you something. You see that? Yeah, you're in here. You, you see what I got? Mm -hmm. What you thinking? You mm -hmm. thinking something? What, you got a man? Like, what's going on, baby? <laughs> like, I can't treat her like a woman. And then she's saying it's harassment. It's not harassment unless I do it twice. <laughs> so if I say, <laughs> your fucking logic is broken. <laughs> if I go, hey baby, you know you want to suck my dick, you say no. All right, cool. Yeah, you should be able to have the yeah. have one as a man. What? You gotta have one. Come on, baby. God, if you do it twice though, no. all right. Yeah, after that, after she you says stop, that's, think I'm done. It's not harassment. That's something not human resource The first one was guy. a proposition. You see my balls? You want peace? No. <laughs> that's right. it. Fair enough. I know what this is about. I'm going to move on and play a little fucking uh, PlayStation 3. Right you now. ain't into me. I, yeah. I can see. You don't want to look like a whore, but I'm going to drop my number on the ground. You pick it up if you want to. <laughs> yeah. and, but you can't discuss. Is it? But, come on, though. it got to be somebody who has enough clout to turn the tide on that shit. It's just Th That if they just over. say it, it'll just change. Uh, it's, it's just no, going to get worse and worse. It's like saying women can't smoke anymore. It's gone. It's history. It's fucking part of... That's it. And and now it's like men can't be men. You can't talk like that. You can't fucking... Like, like it's fair to say you can't come in and see... And then it's like, well... And this was the show I was listening to. It was like, well, if there's a, they, they're going to make special press rooms, mm -hmm. right? And they go, well, if, if there's a press room, then the guys and the girls have to go in the press room. That means the guy reporters can't be in the room. Yeah. Well, whatever. But, yeah, they can. 
because if I say, if the guy, the reporter's like talking to me and my dick is swinging next to him, we, we as men, we're not discussing anything sexual. <laughs> no. So I said, yeah, when I hit the guy, man, I, I saw blood come out of his eyes. I was a little nervous. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, see you later, Cliff. Then you go into the room dress and you, all the girls are like, you know, so bad. this is Andrea Kramer. And this fucking <laughs> do what they do. Yeah, and, yeah. But it, don't forget we're, it's men. People you see how that. annoyed those coaches are when they, let me tell you something. Mm. Watch female sideline reporters. Ugh. Watch how annoyed. The only one they don't get annoyed at is with Reggie Miller's sister, Cheryl Miller in basketball. Well, she's half a dude, though. She, right. She gets <laughs> that's, that's some why. type of dude respect somehow. She's, she's half a dude, and she really knows basketball. I don't. I, that's where I'm at with that shit. Like, I want the person to know the sport, not not she's out there because they think she's hot. But the chick that does football for ESPN Which one? is not bad, uh, Rachel Nichols. Mm, I don't know. She's, she seems to have figured out a way to not annoy people. <laughs> But then you got the funny looking one, the black girl on uh, CBS. But and also, oh no, on Fox, where you just go. What? Getting back to Cheryl Miller though. Yeah, she's in a pickup game with some of these NBA players. She's holding her own. Well, she's the best female she's basketball her own player that ever, that ever fucking lived. So ever. she does get a little respect. But that's the only one that talks, and it's like, because she, she doesn't. She kind of has this voice, so you know. <laughs> she's half a dude. Eh? Yeah, she uh, might be more of a really? dude than her brother. <laughs> she used to beat him. You know, so, right. But she's the only one with when they talking to her, it's not like you're annoying me. Yeah. Like we just want to get to the locker room. Here. When you talk to shit. those fucking football coach coaches, coaches, they get annoyed. Yeah, yeah. They can't believe they have to deal with that. Crap. And one more sports thing, please. Yeah. I don't know if you watch football, but you are a football fan. I just I am starting I a campaign again. There's some things right now you can't prove racism. It's all fictitious, so you sound like an asshole when you talk about it. <laughs> yeah. But there's no way any nigga that talks like Lou Holtz would have a job on TV. <laughs> any nigga who talks like Derek's Mr. Magoo. Derek's working on a bit, right? Uh, we're on this. Lou Holtz. Can we get a little sample? I don't watch yeah, we'll that do. show anymore because Lou Holtz is the He's a slurpy, silly old man. And Mark May, who's the black guy, super articulate, has to deal with this mush mouth old senior fucking citizen fucking up college football. Holy it's shit. funny you bring this up because the boys are working on something behind the scenes. With Lou, Lou With Lou Holtz. Holtz. So we noticed a while ago that he just can't fucking speak. And Fred Mag flip his teeth. Yeah, it sounds like he's it trying is. to keep his teeth in. Yeah, yeah. And I know he's a, he's an old he's a he's a fucking he's a, he's one of those football coaches. You know, dun, 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 dun. he's a football coach, but he Holy right now shit. he's a old <laughs> slurpy man. And I'm not fuck. I don't watch I don't watch ESPN <laughs> until he's gone. Man. I'm I'm fucking finished. We're gonna have an example of that in a, in a minute or two here. But uh, Vincent Bayonne, uh, it's it's yeah. Can male reporters go into the women's volleyball team locker room? No, I know it's it's a double. Not standard. when they're naked. Yeah. Pussy yeah. out, titties out. No, and, and he picked Why? a very good sport because I mean, who would want to go into the uh, the women's locker room at a WNBA game? I tell you, vo women's rough. volleyball is the closest that I could come to jerking off without watching porn. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 Those yeah. juicy asses, <laughs> long legs. Yeah, and they have to bend over uh, to get ready for the fucking delicious little surf. sweaty women. <laughs> yeah. I love fucking college volleyball. Holy I hold my dick. <laughs> Did you? I'm, did you see the lingerie fucking football league yet? No. Somebody fucking tweeted. from Vegas, right? Somebody tweeted it. It's a it's a uh, promotional video. It's got one point three million views. You got to see this shit. Yeah. Because I think we had some of the girls in here. If it's the same league, you're thinking yeah, lingerie football, like oh, it's it's all cutesy. You got to see what the fuck they're doing. Beating the shit out of each Beating other. Beating the shit out of each other, and they got they got the hottest uh, shit on. <laughs> to be Danny fair, left the uh, the studio. I got to show you this. It's unbelievable. To be fair, um, with the women though, and it's the same thing. I think the difference between a women's strip club and a men's. I I think to be fair, two women on this one is there's never any sexual. Um, there's no. There's never even any sexual danger when it comes from women to men. Like if a man's walking around naked with his dick out and women are around, there's just no. There's no danger. To him, but there's sexual thoughts going on. Yeah, but there's no danger to to, you think to a, them. There's, a, there's danger oh yeah, to naked women. Yeah. Right, look at look at this. 
I know it's radio. All right. This is all Jesus, they are hitting each other. They're really fucking playing. And they're like, Good evening, welcome to Seattle NFL naked. Friday Night Football. <laughs> What's it called, cunt ball? <laughs> <laughs> Do yourself a favor and check out this video sometime today on YouTube. Lingerie Football League. If you're wondering if you're going to see some real football, wonder no more. They're just like wearing bikinis and fucking shoulder pads and a helmet. Yeah. Oh my god, man. They're really Look at that. fucking hitting each That's other. Hit right what a there. nice combination, huh? Asses. Jesus. And her cervix is on the floor. <laughs> 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 fucking bitches fucking up their chance to have kids. <laughs> yeah. How great is that? This is fantastic. I'd watch this. I would really watch this, yeah. Yeah, they seem to know the game, too. Absolutely. Lindsey Blaine right there with the A bunch of fucking guys in the stands. This is... Look at that bitch run. This is taking over arena football. It's arena football with girls. Really hot girls. Holy fuck. Are they the greatest fucking panties ever? Oh, oh my god. They are just fucking in. This is genius. They're in their underwear. This is what the WNBA. Any, this is it. Yeah, come out of here. Oh, facing her ass. How'd oh. they get hot girls to play, though? That dirty, fishy scrum. Uh. <laughs> it was exciting. It was hard hitting. Oh, oh fuck the hits. Wow, wow stop the right at the line. Football. Oh. How do they get so many girls that are that hot that know how to fucking play in that they way? They are hardcore. Mm, fucking uneducated, sexy dummies that don't hit yeah. you for some money. <laughs> and and the thing is, is this nice? is this is genius, Oak, because it this is what makes the any sport where women are doing a sport and they don't exercise the thing that makes men into them. Mm -hmm. So these girls are smart where they're doing football, but they're not trying to do it like men. Right. They're doing it like women right. and having men go, oh shit. Look at that bitch, and then they start to appreciate the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, but but the WNBA, they play in men's like yeah, they should play in and fucking shit. bra and panties. Yeah, and lower the hoop, of course. That would save yeah, the league. Lower the hoop, so they can dunk. So they could get real hot girls in there, not <laughs> these fucking freaks of nature. <laughs> <laughs> it, would save, it would save the league. That it league absolutely. is about gone. This thing is. Uh, by I'm the way, watch it. thank you, uh, Dried Blood Brooklyn. Friday night on MTV too. Every Friday night. The lingerie football league. I got to check I it out. I guarantee it'll be it'll be huge. I got to watch it now. Wow. Yeah, that that promotional video is unbelievable. Oh, you I see them shot jiggly butts? Well. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I did. That means they're hot but not in shape. So it's just <laughs> it's just normal jiggly hot butts. Regular jiggly. Jiggly hot oh, butt girl. Not no strong, not moving butts. Did you see the, <laughs> the girl gets slammed in her ass? The other girl's the face is in her ass. It ripples. And it ripples. Just a little bit. And they do the slow motion replay, and her ass is Damn. rippling in this other girl's face. <laughs> Dirty, fishy scrum. Scrum. And they're smart not, enough not to have a big fat broad as a lineman, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, they're yeah. all oh. the same size. They really do look all so the, the same. Like you said, they're not size. playing like men where they're getting some fat pigs on the line, at least, to help their uh, girls out. And you're lucky I'm not the all ref? all the same exact size. <laughs> you're lucky I'm not the ref because they get hurt because I'm not blowing any whistles because I'm just sitting there <laughs> oh, I know, right? rubbing my dick. God damn. Dude, Isn't that great? Like... Is that uh, what they were promoting when they came in, or was that another league? I think this is it. You was promoting this back at the a other place ago. a long time ago. I don't know, yeah. No, that was some broads in, that came in here, Recently, right? The yeah, lingerie about a year bowl. Ago, I, think maybe. I, was I think I was trying to pick up one of them, too. Well, that, where's that bit? <laughs> the lingerie know. bowl. You was, guys were talking <laughs> about this Terrible. forever. It was in uh, February they stopped by. We got this bit. Uh, we got a montage of all the women that Anthony has tried to pick up on when the show. They come in, when they when come, they come in, in just innocently to promote their horse shit. In what was the number one? What's tried. the furthest that ever? Not 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 sex, but like you almost that you always. Oh, it's got to be the penthouse. The penthouse, right? penthouse chick. Yeah, he actually went out on a date, and there yeah, might have been a little sucky dinner, face. Had some fun, but nothing. You know, fucking. But now she 
avoids the show and you when Taylor, she comes to New York. <laughs> what did you do to her? What happened, what man? Taylor Vixen. She's been in New York a few Nothing. times. Since I mean, then. we had a good time, but she, you know, she fucking. Uh, she literally avoids us now. Jesus. No. <laughs> but how great what is that? What are you doing? Do you Come understand on. how oh, you're a square me. guy? You don't even got You can't deal. even like you, you know how great that is that believe you can me. fucking like. You don't even have to fucking tell me. I know. You can it's proposition like, women. At least you yeah, can proposition least, them here. At least I could, yeah. Going, hey. Hey, you put your fucking penthouse pet of the year. You want to go out? Couldn't no, walk yes, up to yeah, her. I couldn't just walk up to her and say that. <clears throat> but in here, it's on the air. I was like, all right. Throw, throw the phone. She puts her fucking number in. I call her back. Imagine yeah. some guy at the office right now, some hot chick that just every day gives mm -hmm. him like that a morning oh. hello massage. Like two <laughs> two squeezes on each shoulder, <laughs> and she's walking around, and he's just yeah. like, "I'm gonna fuck your face off <laughs> at lunchtime." But he can't; he's gonna lose his job. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's just sitting there, and he's just Here's in a, pain. A whole nother story here. Yeah, we got. Uh, do we have the Lou Holtz uh, audio? A little oh, taste. God. Uh, Derek's looking for something in the other room. It's just uh, a little taste. He forgot to any... DVR it on Saturday. So, oh really? Yeah. Do we have something on YouTube? He, maybe anything? we were looking, but we couldn't really find anything that wow, was that was really? a good example. Oh, he... there is some stuff, but nothing that's that's good enough. I okay. respect how he, he he. I don't watch college game day because of him. I can't. He <laughs> can't. Watch. And it makes me mad because I'm like, no. You love college football. Black squeaky voice motherfucking old <laughs> raggedy man no tuskegee airman only nigga you see like that on tv is documentary niggas to tell you how they were niggas that actually existed before niggas now like so we, uh, <laughs> if it wasn't flash doll we stopped on tired german luftwaffe on that, luftwaffe on that fire planes and we used to have to maintain them all, all ourselves. <laughs> the Tuskegee Airmen. Syphilis. Yeah, they, they shot us up with the syphilis. Uh, and uh, see what would happen to the black man. No fucking civil rights black men with a job. <laughs> civil rights. That talk like Lou Holtz. <laughs> Lou Holtz. You, I, I'm telling you, you gotta hear Lou Holtz. He's, it's despicable. I want to hear him so fucking bad right Why now. Why would they keep that man on TV like well, that, man? Because he's a legend. He's I a legend, it was, but it's he's despicable. White, white legend. A white legend. 19, it was back in 1908. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you sound like Lou Holtz, oh, except Jesus. for you have to do that. <laughs> oh, does he whistle? <laughs> whistle a little bit there. She says, mush mouse kind of. <laughs> Air is escaping. Oh, my God. <laughs> what's, what's that about? Uh, is that missing <laughs> teeth? What is that? I don't know. Uh, I think is. it's. I think it's his dentures coming out. I can't believe you don't have any Lou Holtz, man. It's. We're trying. Well, like I said, we, there's some, but I would rather. I would rather pull a clip that would a real good one. A, yeah, yeah, that would really bring it home. It's really college day. About. There's no college game day on there, and Mark May, he's like, <clears throat> and Vinvi. This is this is the black guy used to be a lineman for Pittsburgh, right? Uh -huh. And then, you know, you know, South Carolina did the wrong thing there. See, what they should have done here is, I mean, look at Alabama, and just does, and does this, and, and it's absolutely, I think Boise State should not. <laughs> it, it's just, it's just wrong. You know what? Maybe we don't have Lou Holtz audio, but we got people that uh, are way in. <laughs> Go ahead, Andrew. Hi. Uh, yeah, my wife and I were watching on Saturday night, and they were talking about one of the football games, and they were supposed to say rough finish, but instead they said rough fetish. <laughs> rough fetish. Yeah, rough <laughs> fetish. fetish. <laughs> <laughs> got... Derek uh, sent me a, a clip, so. Is this I one might work? I think he's saying that this one's going to be good. All right, so let's give it a listen. <laughs> okay. Man, we're at Boise State, not only have the blue kids. <laughs> stop it! Stop it now! Do, do you understand? Do you Where understand you that? Boise State. Boise State. <laughs> yeah, you know what Boise State is. <laughs> what is it? He sounds like our old pal. Woo! He sounds like he's got a fucking, like he's deaf. It's it's just not good. I don't even know I'm in your dingus, Boise State. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get All to right. this. Early, Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou. Now, 
Man, we at Boise State not only have a blue field, we have a blue locker room floor. And when Oregon State leaves here, they're going to be black and blue. As I told you before, people are motivated by their needs and discouraged by their fears. We have no fear of any football team in this country. We'll play anybody. But let me tell you the one thing that does scare me is the fact that people in the media like Mark May and Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit say that we should be in a national championship game even if we go undefeated. The things like this that scare me, those same people can vote and breed. Not only vote in the football Stop for a second. They vote. This is what this is what angers me about this situation. Why, Look, why is it angry? It, it angers me. It's the same thing of of them forcing me to watch Muhammad Ali in the condition he's in, uh -huh. and keep telling me that. Oh no no no! All his faculties are in right, play. Right right right. But it's like, do you understand that I can't? Don't force that this make, man. Doesn't that make it worse, by the way, that he uh, does have everything? That, but he has his faculty. You can right. see he's a sharp old man. Right. But he's it's just wet mouth. Right. Like it's, it's just like suffering shock attack. Boy, you Sylvester Cat. Yeah, <laughs> sure. He's talk he's talking and trying to keep his teeth in his mouth at the same time. <laughs> Back to it, all right. Go to national elections and it's obvious that their evaluation process is flawed. Man, we have a great team. We have no weakness. Offense, defense, king game. We have a quarterback who's a Heisman candidate and Kellen Moore. And I have a what? dream. Let me tell you what's going to happen when this year's over. They're going to make a movie of our team similar to Hoosiers, where a small school beat the big one and won the championship. But the difference is they didn't have to overcome all the hierarchy that's trying to keep us out of that championship game. On my desk, I have a sign. <laughs> May God give me the courage to change the things I can, the serenity to accept the things I can't, and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. I'll tell you one thing we can't change is everybody's mind about what a great football team we are. As I've told you also, winners prepare and prevent. Losers repair and repent. We have prepared, and we are going to prevent anybody from keeping us in that championship game. And then when you go out on that field, I want you to remember this, that we have to be an inspiration. The millions of people are fighting an uphill struggle to accomplish something, just like we're trying to get to that championship game. And you remember Reese and Mark and Todd and Kirk and everybody else. Let's go send a message to them. Doctor! Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Somebody should wow. bring in like a... Like a like a uh, like a little a, a, right. a little donut <laughs> and just go thank you thank you dad thank you good boy thank you and this is struggle <laughs> winners rule losers are stool <laughs> that's why you gotta make sure you get out there and you win every tight game <laughs> go out and you put your game faces on and pull out your umbrellas for this pep talk. <laughs> Make your stage left even. <laughs> I'll kill the rabbit and make it look like an accident. <laughs> he needs the Gallagher talk for the players when he talks to them. Do you understand that? But someone is saying that he sounds like Red Skelton. A lot of Red Skelton's coming. Yeah. Do, you, do you understand that I, I watch game day to get all my scores and highlights, and now I don't watch it anymore. It's I have to watch ESPN News or whatever mm -hmm. because of they would have have this I'm angry it's too at the show. Distracting. Why would they have this man on the wow. show? Let me. Uh, let me. Oh. You can't. Okay. You can't watch the show and get any his, information his because pension, you're just thinking like his pension has to be delicious. Like because you know he's putting so much work, he has to. He can't need the dough, <laughs> and they they can't look at him like oh poor. Get rid of this fucking guy. Let's go to Anthony in Boston, <laughs> Anthony. Oh, God. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm so happy you guys are talking about this right now. I've been saying it for years. Doesn't Lou Holtz sound like he needs that dentist sucker straw in his mouth at all times? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to walk around with that little thing that sucks the saliva yeah. out. Go ahead, Lou. Very good. Uh, let's rinse. Rinse. Spin. <laughs> Justin rinse. Jersey. Hello? <laughs> What's up? There's some great ones coming again. It, it's so funny. you got to watch how Mark May just gets pissed off at him every time he talks because he makes no sense at all. Mark May just wants to punch him in the mouth, and he knows he just can't. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't yeah. want to make it worse. Yeah, and he, but he, <laughs> and he's sitting there going, Mark May, I'm telling you, week after week, they do this thing where they debate, him and him debate an uh, issue. And, and, and Lou Holtz always wins because the guy who's the judge... It's always like, point for Lou. And he's like, <laughs> and, and, and Mark May goes, and then the strategy, and it's like, come on, man. And then this fucker starts being an old man, and Mark May f f 
punches shit because he's like, he wants to go stop coddling this, <laughs> this fucking elderly motherfucker. He's, he's killing us. <laughs> There's a couple more coming in. Uh, Mike in Chicago. Mike. Hey, guys. Love hey. Patrice, man. Um, he sounds like a 90-year-old bullwinkle. <laughs> Fan mail from Chuck Flounder. <laughs> Stay rock. Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's got to, maybe it's cruel for me to say, but I'm saying I can't watch, I cannot watch my favorite college yeah, wrap-up yeah, show yeah. because of it. Uh, by the way, that guy says Patrice Rocks. If you want to see Patrice this weekend, it's Bananas Comedy Club, Poughkeepsie, New York. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. You got the Big Mama Prods on uh, Twitter and PatriceO'Neal.com. Uh, Ray on Long Island. Ray? Yeah, I'm on. Hey, buddy. Bye. Yeah. You can call him Ray, or you can call him Jim. <laughs> oh, God, that fucking guy. Hey, everybody. The sheriff is in New York. <laughs> yeah, the Blazing Saddles guy. <laughs> That's a good one, too, man. <laughs> No, God damn it. Yeah. I said the sheriff is a nick. A nick. That's him. That's a good one. Oh, that could be the best one. That's him. Rem him. <laughs> I didn't say the sheriff is near. I said the sheriff is a <laughs> oh my god, man. I mean, is that wrong to say fucking no, get, get rid of him? This is get why we're here. No one guy. else is going to point this shit out out there. Everyone's scared. Everyone's scared of everything. It, I mean, that, that is it's not. Awesome. If that was an audition, it's not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It is over the top, man. Let's go to Justin in uh, Florida. Justin. Hey, guys. Um, so when Lou Holtz used to do college game day, and, you know, they do it outside where all the kids and everybody is like, makes big signs and holds them up. Somebody right behind Lou Holtz's head was holding up a giant sign, had a big picture of Lou Holtz's face, and it said Lou Holtz for president. It was <laughs> president. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, Paul in Connecticut. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, if you could pull a uh, clip from like, Stevie from East Town and Down. Oh, that's similar, too. Just like him, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good one. Like Very good. Yeah, Absolutely. Good Let's go to Leonard in uh, Atlanta. Leonard. Hey, listen. He's got a brother. Just punch in cerebral palsy preacher. You will get a, uh, a laugh out of it, believe me. Cerebral palsy uh, preacher. Yeah, and then you got people <laughs> defending Lou Holtz. He's a Please, great coach. Wanna, you know he knows what? his shit. I want to hear, I wanna hear the people right, defending. Right, That's right, exactly right, what I was going to yeah. say. There's a lot know. of them, though. Uh, uh, Shane, go that. ahead. You're representing hey. all the Lou Holtz fans. Hey, uh, well, I was born in 88 uh, when Lou Holtz was in uh, Notre Dame. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I just want to say that uh, he won a national title. Have any of you guys ever won a national title before coaching college? Is this Lou Holtz? It's Lou Holtz. This is Lou Holtz on the phone. <laughs> is it, maybe it's his son. Hey, look, he has the longest winning streak against USC, 11 straight in the season. We didn't say he was a bad coach. <laughs> we said this he's... Has to, this has to be a bit. It, we didn't say he was a bad coach. I know, this has yeah, to be. Come but, on. Yeah, Listen, but, uh, this guy's hilarious. Come on. Listen, This can't be real. <laughs> I mean, come on. He knows what he talks about. <laughs> this can't be real. I want this to be real so bad, but I know it's not. But he is good at being fake not. real, though. Come on. He is, no, Shane. He, he's good. What else about Lou Holtz? Well, he knows his commentary. He knows how to, what, what to say. <laughs> Oh, Come my on. God. This guy's Come confusing on. This guy me. This can't be real. Are you real? Oh, I'm for real, yeah. <laughs> no. Come on. No way. No, no. Come on. No. I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say frunkish. <laughs> Is there a frunkish coming, sir? Frunkish. Hello? Yes? Yeah. Is there a frunkish coming or no? Frunkish? Nope, that's all I'm going to say, is that he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. That's fucked up. That is really Who's fucked defend up. Who's defending? I just want to, I really want to hear somebody defend that nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Shane, thank you. Possible. Yep. Defend that. Let he me say hi to Brett in Columbus. Him. Brett? Hey, guys, I'm telling you what, first of all, that faggot-ass caller that just called in about the, the info, 
oh, God, just shoot me. I just want to fucking, it's like that person that's sitting beside you, and you just want to fucking smash him. I just want to hit Lou Holtz in the fucking face. Oh, I don't know if we want that to happen, sir. You have to be that uh, I want to be able to enjoy his uh, mush mouth for the next few it years. It frustrates you, dude. Hey, mush mouth. It frustrates you. You can't ignore it. Yeah. You can't fucking get away from it either. It's like every time you turn on ESPN, he's doing fucking something. And I'm like, God, shut the 